Fair Up Summerland is a stunning theme park in the heart of Denmark and with it being home to some of the world's best rides and attractions, it is easy to see why it is so popular. However, today we're going to count down the top 10 rides at Fair Up Summerland. Starting off at number 10, we have Noddy's Vent. And no matter whether you are a huge Chair Swings fan or are just looking for another fun family attraction, then this is the ride for you. Themed towards the treetops, once you have boarded your rather nutty one or two person seat, you will swing around and whiz through the treetops. However, here is where it gets cool, as when the ride begins to slow down, it is not coming to an end, but instead going to fly backwards, which trust me when I say, is an experience that you will never, ever forget. Are you heading to Fair Up Summerland on a hot Danish day? Well, if so, you have got to take a ride on our number 9 spot, Fair Up Rafting, because as you can probably guess by the name, you will get wet. Similar to many of your other rapid style attractions from all around the world, once you and up to seven others have taken off on this ride, you will head around many turns, drops and soak in rapid sections. Nevertheless, what I particularly love about this ride is the scenery, as with it being located deep within the woods, it really feels as if you are on a rapid adventure and therefore I think it is definitely worthy of the list. Just watch out for the waterfall at the end. It is time for our first roller coaster on the list, as at our number 8 spot we have Flagamusen, the park's wild mouse attraction, and therefore before we even do just start to talk about the ride itself, if you are planning to visit on a busy day, over here on theme park coasting, we would recommend riding the more unique rides first. Yet if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed, with your car rising a 40 foot lift hill before a series of wild mouse twists and turns, drops and airtime hills all while spinning. Yes, you heard me right, you will spin for the final half of the ride causing even the biggest thrill seekers in the group to hold on tight. If ferret rafting did not get you wet enough, then do not fear as ferret summerland hasn't just got one, but a total of two water rides, with the second one being and at our number 7 spot, Transamen, which I promise you, you will definitely get wet on. As soon as you have boarded the log though, after a surprisingly short queue, you will actually begin your journey with a nice leisurely journey through the woods. But oh no, this does not last for long, as before you know it you will be climbing up the lift hill for a drop, then another, then another, bringing the total drop count to a whopping 3 and 100% getting everybody on board soaked. How many rides could a wood chopper take if a wood chopper could ride Saven? Well the answer is 100 as with my awful tongue twisters aside at our number 6 spot we have Saven and wow this ride may be small but it sure does pack a punch. Themed towards a log chopping shop before we even get onto the ride itself, you will know that you are in for a treat, with its beautiful station building surrounded by the park's mamba supply of trees. And on ride does not disappoint either, as on your log car you will complete many twists, turns, airtime hills, and even a splashdown section not only forwards, but backwards too. The question is though, would you ride it, da ding ding. Top 5, what what? and for this position things are starting to become a lot more intense, as we have Oricon, 
with despite it being a family coaster in my opinion it is definitely for the thrill seekers out there with it featuring such elements as a 63 foot lift hill drop into an underwater tunnel section extremely sharp overbank curves airtime hills helixes and so so much more although it does not stop there as in addition to all of this it does not only have a stunning lake underneath it but it is an invert meaning that your entire experience you will have your legs dangling how cool is that you can't have a theme park without a woody and fair up summerland is no exception as for our number four sport we have falcon and with it being situated right next door to oricon before we even get on to the ride itself off ride this attraction is stunning with all of the amazing scenery and coasters surrounding it although on ride is where the ride it succeeds as with its variety of fast and mega stream turns drops and even a few airtime hills along the way despite it being a little bit rough which i personally think adds to the experience i could not imagine a trip to the park without soaring like a falcon here we enter the top three rides at the park and for the number three spot we have and i do apologize for my pronunciation hiverdin the park's gyro swing and therefore due to the amount of these rides that are currently located everywhere if you are heading to the park on a busy day we would suggest trying the more unique attractions first nevertheless if you do choose to ride you will definitely not be disappointed with it spinning you around whilst also rising you not only up but down too to absolutely extreme heights causing a few scared faces just remember that the seats are facing inwards meaning that the people opposite you can watch your petrified face who here love speeds, loops and fast twists and turns? Well of course you do and our number 2 spot has you covered. This is Linnet and out of all the rides that we have been lucky enough to ride on this channel, this has got to be the most unique and also one of the funniest rides with it being split up into 3 sections. First of all, speed, in which you will go from 0 to 80 km an hour in less than 2 seconds, followed by a completely crazy set of airtime hills, and then this is onwards, followed by a 0G roll and a corkscrew on the loop section before the final one, which are the twists and turns, where you will head around a 360 degree helix. So if that in addition to the amazing theming does not make you want to ride, I honestly do not know what will. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride in the park in addition to my favourite coaster, we have got no other than Phoenix. And wow, where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part we would quite literally be here all day. But to start from the beginning, from the moment you know that you are in for a treat when looking at the fantastic elements and theming throughout, and you would not be wrong because as soon as you have boarded, climbed up that lift hill and seen that fantastic view across the park, words literally cannot describe how amazing this ride is with its incredibly smooth inversions, airtime moments, bank turns through building section which is pretty awesome if you ask me, and so, so much more. And therefore, there is no doubt in my mind that this is the best ride at Fair Up Summerland. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.